So Andrew, what a glorious day for looking at the 928. Do you agree? It certainly is, yeah. So we're here, well. we're here with Andrew Elvers, and uh, Andrew's the owner of this magnificent, it's an S4, is it? Or it's a GTS. It's a GTS. So I know this isn't your first 928. Take us through your, your early uh, 928 owning history, shall we? I first bought a 928 in uh, 1998, which uh -huh. was a Velvet Red S4, which I had for two years. Uh, until basically I lost my job, so I had to sell it. Oh no, was that a bit of a heart wrencher for you? <laughs> very much so, yeah, and it was my first car, so I felt very Your first ever car? My first ever I had car. an Anglia, and then a, <laughs> and then a Triumph, and you had I a 928. Well, <laughs> even so, well done. There can't be many people who can claim that that's the fame that the very first car was a 928. So, you were without a 928 for some years, and now you've got this glorious car, which, you know, we're here in, um, in July, up at Duxford, in 2014. And yet you've turned up in this glorious, I'm going to say silver colour. You're going to tell me the right colour. What is it? It's polar silver. It is silver. It yeah. is silver, is it? Looks a bit bluey, but it is silver, yeah. So if we can hear ourselves above the, the Spitfires and the Merlin engines, what was it that you were looking for when you actually decided to go and buy yourself a, a replacement 928? Well, basically what happened was uh, I, I spent years with our car. Uh, then I would started buying econo economy cars because I live in the middle of London. And uh, and then actually it was uh, watching the bridge where the character drives an old Porsche and I thought, oh yeah, maybe I should do that. And then I started looking around, realised those old 911s are really, I mean, more expensive than these. And then thought, well, maybe I should... You were drawn back to 928, were you? I was drawn back to a And how long did it take you to find this beautiful car? It took about three months. Uh, basically, it was looking at everything in the ad and going to look at everything I could find. And my big decision really was between an S4 and a GTS. I knew I wanted an automatic because I live in the middle of London. Uh, and this is a GTS and it's got an automatic gearbox, does it? It has, yeah. So should we have a quick look inside and you can take us through the features? Because they're all unique, aren't they? Very few are exactly the same. So what... Oh, you want to come round? Yeah, what's the, what's the colour of the interior on this car? Uh, I think it's marble grey. So it's grey and it's piped in black, is it? Piped in black, yeah with uh, black carpets and grey carpets which is crazy because it's very hard to keep clean. Oh, I see, yeah. And then this also has grey headlining if you want to go in and look at the roof. Got grey, oh yeah, grey that makes it quite light doesn't it compared it's to the dark does, ones, yeah. 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 And then it's got a uh, wood uh, gear selector. And that's original is it? They're all original bits. Not, not pimped up? No. It's the real deal, is it? Well, I think when the time they came to the GTS, a lot of them were made to order. Right. So they were all their uh, owners could choose. They had an exclusive program going where a lot of these extra options, they are on a normal option list, and then people would just choose. So what have you got on this car? You've got a sunroof, you've got these, as you say, the, the well, bespoke ones. I think the sunroof for UK cars is fairly standard. I think most UK cars have a sunroof. Um, I think the only extra bit, really, is the headlining and the gear selector. I think everything else is fairly standard. So if you were trying to define why you like this particular car, what would that be? If there was This particular one, car yeah. or the model? Uh, this particular car, it was because I went and looked at quite a few different cars and it was just the, it was the condition of it. Uh, it was very, very low mileage. And when we went out for a test drive, it just drove so well. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, it, I'm not going to be as impolite as to ask you what you paid for it, because that's un-British, but what would this car have been brand new back in the day, the original price? Uh, it would have been around 70, 72. So if you were to translate that today, and this is a 96, this 97 94, car? 94 car. So what would that be today in English well, money? actually, so? I did do that. I think it's about 120,000. You're surprised. I mean, it's Bentley Continental money. Yeah, it's up there with the Astons and the Bentleys yeah. I and mean, so basically, forth. I think the way you look at it is they were similar money to a 911 Turbo. Mm. So you think of... Uh, a 911 Turbo is 120, so it's about the same money. Basically. So if you were to pass on one tip, one buying tip today to somebody watching this in the UK or Australia or America or South Africa, if they're out looking for a, um, a very late 928, what would you say, the one thing you should look for? I would say if you're buying anyone is to look at several and drive several and that's the only way you can tell them apart because if you just look at one car you think this is what a car is like and it could be a dog or it could not have the performance or whatever it's only by driving different cars that you realize the differences between them and you start realizing this is what a good car looks like this is what a bad so car. get out there I mean, drive honest, loads and is history important 
Yes, it is, obviously. You've got, I mean, especially the cam belt and checking that the oil's been changed and all the rest of it. Absolutely, of course it is. Fantastic. Um, but I think a lot of it is that the condition will show you whether someone has spent a lot of... Um, so look for ex for the actual invoices and the history behind the car, yeah, yes? Yeah, some of that, but I would say it's actually looking at the car, how it drives. Um, I think you've got to taste... I mean, I know a lot of people, some people buy these cars and they, you know, either buy the first one... I'm not criticising that. I mean, I know people are tempted and it's what they want and they do it. But I think you do need to look around and then you make up... A, I mean, to be honest, when I went to see this, it was just to see what what it was like and then I ended up buying it yeah. so it's, it's, it's like you uh, fell in love with it I yeah. didn't expect to buy it now some people give their cars names does your, your car have a name no you don't you're not, not that all, so no. not that crazy I'm, about not, I'm not in that mold alright well we're just going to quickly walk around it with the camera to drool on your car so Andrew thank you very much Okay. and uh, maybe as we're walking around maybe we could just start it up so we can hear the exhaust is that possible it's you want to start okay. yeah go on. we'll I'm walk around the, the, uh, we'll, end, we'll, we'll end up by the exhaust so uh, take your time Very nice, very nice indeed.